So today I will be working on the bloopers. The bloopers are generally the last thing that we do for an episode and then I can back everything up on a hard drive. <clears throat> and like I've said maybe a million times, I love putting everything on the hard drive at the end of a project. So let's not delay. Okay, these pipes are clean, the bloopers turned out great. I have to wear this jacket that I found in the closet because it's so cold. You know what I really like? Is if the temperature change was like daylight savings time. You just flip the switch, it was the next season. And then the time change was like the temperature change where it's a very gradual change. It's time for a run. What's the temperature? What's the light outside? It's pretty cold outside. We're in pants. Yo, this is fantastic, man. 56.5 VO2 max. Look at it, look at it climb. I'm not sure what I've done to get myself back in shape like this, but I'm very happy that I am. It makes so many things easier, including teaching my classes every week. <clears throat> the bystander effect. The origin of this story is apparently apocryphal or it might be real. That's besides the point because the bystander effect itself is very real. The original story is that in some crowded city block, probably Manhattan, somebody was outside screaming for help and there was a bunch of people in the apartments listening. But nobody called 911 because they expected that somebody else was going to do it. Like I said, I don't know if the story is apocryphal or not, but this experience of expecting somebody else to do it is a very real experience that I've had many times in my life. It got so bad that one time we went camping and nobody brought sleeping bags or tents because we thought somebody else was going to do it. So to mitigate that, we now plan our trips very carefully and make sure that everybody has looked at it beforehand. While I was out running just now, a little receipt flew by me and my first instinct was to just let it go. But I've thought about the bystander effect and wanting to be the person who is going to take action rather than expecting somebody else to do it. So I saw it and I was like, I'm picking that up and I'm throwing it away. Because if not me, then who? Especially with this magical society we live in where everything is done for us and all you have to do is give a little bit of money and you can basically get magic in return. It's easy to forget that somebody is doing the hard work and the grinding to get you that stuff. So the least I can do is to do my part when I see a piece of trash on the ground and saying, if not me, then who? High school zoology class. Kellen Hayes. Yes, I'm calling out his first and last name. If you know a Kellen Hayes, you call him out and you say to him, in zoology class when you guys were dissecting that cat and your lab partner Robbie was doing all of the work and you were just walking around socializing, what was going through your head at that time? Did you just not care that Robbie had to do everything? and you were just like, oh, I'm just gonna go socialize because I know Robbie will do it. At the time, of course, I did the project. Now, I would like to think that I'm not so petty that I would just tank the whole project if he wasn't helping me work on it. But now I'd probably be like, fine, if you wanna socialize, I'm not working on this. You can come help me and then I will work very hard on it. But I don't know if I would. <laughs> I would like to be the bigger person like I was then, but I probably wouldn't be. There's just a mind shift that I've been trying to shift into for like maybe the past 10 years of my life. I am the one responsible for what happens in my life. And if I see a problem, it is up to me to fix it. It doesn't mean that you can't get help from other people and it doesn't mean that other people won't take care of things. But it's the mindset of I'm responsible first. Assume that nobody else is going to help, nobody else is going to do anything. What can I do about this situation before others? And I am trying to undo a lot, a lot of programming and ruts that I have in my brain to where I'm saying to myself constantly, that's somebody else's responsibility. Maybe, maybe not, but the point is, look at yourself as being responsible first. 
because you will be much happier that way. So hmm. by that thinking though, in those group projects, it really doesn't matter if somebody's helping you or not. It still feels bad when somebody's not helping you and you're doing all the work and they're gonna get a good grade because you've worked. But hey man, that's life sometimes. Now, to a certain extent, of course, that's just being an adult and taking responsibility for your sphere. But it goes beyond that, man. It's like, how can I take care of I'm figuring out why it does that. No more. Sorry, Outlook. You have f***ed me over for the last time. There is this great list of life advice that this random guy on the internet wrote. And one of the pieces of advice that really stuck out to me was, if you need to make two trips, just make two trips. Don't try to carry everything at once. What are you doing? <laughs> So this is where I record the narration, right? This little stool opens up and you can put this other stool in there. And to save space, I was about to do that. And I realized that that's where I hid the Halloween candy. Damn you, foul temptress! So these lights aren't the best, but I'm probably not gonna upgrade them because they still do the trick. My green screen, however, the possibilities for shout outs are just endless and I need a bigger green screen to do more elaborate stuff and to make it easier. I think that's a worthwhile investment. I was actually thinking painting this whole wall green and then maybe the floor too. That actually, mm, I feel like that's a done deal already. Yes. Human B. Okay, that will do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Good things are coming up. Hope you're enjoying the weather. Hope things are going well. I'll see you in the next one. On another note, if anybody wants a broken Elgato Game Capture HD, send me a message. It sometimes works. Sometimes you can plug it in and it'll capture video and it'll be great. Sometimes it doesn't. If you're willing to risk that and you know what this is in the first place, send me an email or a Patreon message and I'll send it to you. I got some adapters with it too. I'll send it to you for free. Just give me your address. Or if you want these three Xbox game controller clips, put the controller here, mount your phone up here and you can play. Uh, the angle is really terrible, but I have three of them. I will never use them. Send me an email or Patreon message. I'll send them to you. Okay, that's it.